One day after his season finale impersonating Donald Trump on Saturday Night Live, Alec Baldwin appeared at a California fundraiser and finally talked about his struggle with Lyme disease, the chronic illness he's had for 17 years. He thought he would die of it after he was bitten by a deer tick, treated, and then bitten again a few years later, he said. He described the experience in his mordantly jokey way on Sunday at the annual Lyme Aid Research Benefit hosted by the Bay Area Lyme Foundation in a private home near Palo Alto, according to reports Monday on Today and Lib People. The first time was the worst of all, Baldwin said. And I really thought this is it, I'm not going to live. I was alone, I wasn't married at the time, I was divorced from my first wife. I was lying in bed saying, I'm going to die of Lyme disease, in my bed and I hope someone finds me and I'm not here for too long. Baldwin first acknowledged he had the chronic illness in 2011 in an interview with the New York Times, but he's been silent about it in public since. His speech at the fundraiser, his first for Lyme disease, showed he's all too familiar with the consequences of being bitten. I got the classic Lyme disease, symptoms, for each successive summer, for five years, every August, like this black lung, flu-like symptoms, sweating to death in my bed, Baldwin said. Now, he says, he and wife Ilaria constantly check their children for signs of tick bites. I want my kids to grow up riding horses and bikes and enjoying themselves every day and not have to spend every day with us going over them with a magnifying glass to make sure they don't have any ticks on their body or their dogs, but that is part of the lifestyle of where I live," he said. Lyme disease, named for Lyme, Connecticut, where it was first described, is caused by a bacterium carried by tiny deer ticks. So small many people don't see them or even know they've been bitten until symptoms, including a red rash, develop later.